Hey, this is Jackie with Plan a Healthy Life. And in this video, I will show you how to download Etsy digital files using your iPhone or iPad. I'll also show you the difference between downloading a PDF, like the digital planner I'll use in this example, and a zip file of clip art stickers. And I'll also point out the one common mistake to avoid when downloading your Etsy digital files on an Apple device. So let's get started. Let's start with the iPad first, but the process is exactly the same for an iPhone. There's only a slight difference in how things are displayed on your screen because the iPhone is so much smaller. So we'll look at that in a minute. When you purchase digital files like clip art, printables, or digital planners from Etsy, you're immediately sent an email when your payment clears. This email confirms your purchase and gives you a link to download your digital files. Sounds perfect, right? Well, not exactly. If you have the Etsy app installed on your device, the email takes you to that app where you will see the download links. And this is the common mistake you must avoid. You cannot download your Etsy digital files from the Etsy app, at least not as of September 2020 when I'm recording this video. To download your Etsy files on an iPhone or iPad, you need to bypass the app. And here's how. Using your device's browser, either Safari or Chrome, type in Etsy.com and go directly to Etsy. On the Etsy website, sign into your account if you're not already logged in. Click on you in the upper right corner, which will likely have your Etsy Avi. A drop-down box will appear and click on purchases and reviews. Now you will see all the goodies you've bought from Etsy with the most recent purchase first. Choose the item you want to save and click the download files button. For this purchase of the pumpkin spice digital stickers, which are available in my Etsy shop by the way, there are three separate files to download. A getting started guide, which is a PDF, a good notes file with the digital stickers, and a zip file with the pumpkin spice clip art. I'll download the zip file so that I can demonstrate how to unzip your file. Click on the link for the file you want to download. You will be asked to confirm, so just tap the download button. Now you will see a download icon appear in the top right of your screen. It's that little circle with a downward facing arrow. Click it and now you'll see the pumpkin spice zip file I just downloaded. When you click the link, you will see the zip file has been saved to the iCloud's downloads folder. Now let's unzip it. Just click on that file and magically it will unzip and a new folder is created. Tap on the folder to see the PNG stickers all ready to go. Now one thing I want to point out, which is different from the next example, is that zip files are automatically saved to your downloads folder. You'll see what happens when I download a PDF digital planner in the iPhone example next. Saving Etsy digital files is the same process on an iPhone. It just looks a tiny bit different because of the smaller screen size. I'll walk you through a different example, this time downloading a PDF digital planner. You'll see a PDF gives you more options when saving it to your device. Just like with the iPad, make sure you avoid the number one mistake of trying to download the files on the Etsy app. So sign into Etsy in Safari or Chrome. Then tap on your account, which will either be your Avi if you've added one, or the Etsy default. You don't see the word you like you did on the iPad because of space. Like before, tap on purchases and reviews and you will see your most recent purchases. You'll notice you don't immediately see the download files button. Instead, there's a small arrow to the right of the purchase that you want to download and tap on that arrow. Now you'll see the download files link, so go ahead and click it. With this purchase, a digital planner, there are two PDF files. One is the getting started guide and the other is the digital planner itself. Let's download the planner, so I'll tap on that link. Immediately you will see the PDF appear on your screen, which as you'll remember is different from downloading the zip file. So let's go ahead and save it. Tap on the share icon on the bottom of your screen, which is the square with an upward facing arrow. You have the option to save to files, so let's do that. I'll click save to files and here I can specify if I want to save it to the iCloud downloads folder, like in the iPad example or directly to my phone. I'll save it to the downloads folder. 
So here you have it inside the downloads folder, all ready to go. And that's it, how to download Etsy files on an iPhone or an iPad. The trick is simply not using the Etsy app. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing. I share videos about digital planning and other ways to help you plan a healthier and happier life. Thanks for watching.